What's freakier, being in the bottom of the ocean or being up in space? Up in space is more surreal. Joe Rogan has just dropped a bombshell that's sending shockwaves through both the scientific community and the general public. Beneath the vast expanses of our oceans lies a realm so alien and terrifying, it challenges our understanding of life on Earth. From bizarre creatures to sunken cities, the depths hide secrets that are more startling than anything we've encountered in space. What has been unearthed beneath the waves that has everyone on edge? Dive in with us as we explore the chilling mysteries of the ocean, the unseen depths. The ocean is huge and largely unknown. Covering over 71% of our planet, it is the largest space on Earth yet to be fully explored. In comparison, we have a better map of Mars than we do of our own ocean floors. This immense underwater landscape remains a mystery, with less than 5% thoroughly explored. This lack of exploration opens the door to countless undiscovered species and geological formations. The Navy has spent billions of dollars on exploring the depths of the ocean. I lived for two weeks in the bottom of the sea. Oh, Jesus. The scariest thing I saw, one night I was taking a dump. And a recent discovery has been unveiled that has left the Navy in shock. What did Joe Rogan confirm about this horrific discovery made by the Navy? The depths of the ocean are like space on Earth. Both frontiers are hostile to humans, requiring special technology to explore. Just as astronauts traverse the vacuum of space, deep sea divers and unmanned submarines descend into the crushing pressures of the ocean. The conditions are harsh, complete darkness pervades, and the pressure at the deepest points is enough to crush standard submarines. Exploration technology has grown more advanced, but the ocean's size and hostile environment challenge our efforts to understand it. The ocean floor is dotted with features as dramatic and varied as those found on the surfaces of other planets. Mountain ranges, vast plains, and deep trenches that dwarf the Grand Canyon lie hidden beneath waves, covered in complete darkness. One of the most famous oceanic features is the Mariana Trench, located in the western Pacific Ocean. It is the deepest part of the world's oceans and reaches a depth of about 10,984 meters at its deepest point, known as Challenger Deep. To put this in perspective, if Mount Everest were placed in the Challenger Deep, its peak would still be underwater by more than 1.2 miles. The biodiversity found in these uncharted waters is astounding. New species are regularly discovered during expeditions to these depths. These creatures often exhibit bizarre adaptations to the extreme pressure, darkness, and cold. For instance, many deep-sea creatures produce their own light through bioluminescence to navigate and communicate in the perpetual night. Furthermore, the ocean plays a critical role in life on Earth, influencing climate and weather patterns across the globe. It is also a critical source of biodiversity and natural resources. Yet, its depths hold unknown impacts on our planet's health and climate. Understanding these impacts is crucial as we face environmental challenges like climate change. Each expedition brings us closer to understanding the complex systems that sustain life both in the deep sea and on the surface. Just as space exploration pushes the boundaries of human capability and knowledge, so too does exploring the unseen depths of our own world. Garrett Reisman's Dual Explorations So what is this discovery made in the ocean? The man responsible for this is Garrett Reisman. Garrett Reisman's career offers a rare glimpse into the life of someone who has explored both the depths of the ocean and the far reaches of space. His experiences aboard the International Space Station and within the ocean's depths on the NEMO-5 mission provide unique insights into the challenges and wonders of operating in extreme environments. On the International Space Station, Reisman experienced the challenges of living and working in microgravity, where everything from sleeping to conducting experiments requires adaptation. The space station orbits the Earth at an altitude of approximately 253 miles, where astronauts witness 16 sunrises and sunsets every day and live in a confined space, which can test the limits of personal endurance and team dynamics. In contrast, Reisman's time in the ocean depths involved living in the Aquarius underwater habitat. If you're normally scuba diving and you go down 60 feet, you have 60 minutes a facility used for training astronauts and conducting undersea research. Anchored to the seafloor near Key Largo, Florida, Aquarius is located 19 meters underwater and allows aquanauts to live and work underwater for extended periods. This mission, similar to space missions, requires careful management of resources and coordination with surface support teams. 
Both environments, outer space and deep underwater, share several critical challenges. They are isolated, with limited access to the outside world, and require living in confined quarters. The physical conditions are extreme. In space, there is no gravity, while at the bottom of the ocean, the pressure is immense. Both situations demand specialized equipment to either keep the crushing pressure of the ocean out or to maintain a life-supporting atmosphere in the vacuum of space. The physiological and psychological effects of these missions are also similar. Both astronauts and aquanauts undergo rigorous training to prepare for the stresses of their missions, including handling emergency situations where immediate outside help is not available. This training is vital to ensure their safety and the success of the mission, as quick decision-making is crucial when dealing with equipment failures or medical emergencies. One significant observation Reisman shared was the difference in views. From the ISS, the Earth is seen as a stunningly beautiful gem, with majestic views of continents drifting by and the aurora borealis dancing across the horizon. In contrast, the view from the Aquarius habitat, while fascinating, showcases the eerie and mysterious nature of the underwater world, a reminder of how much remains unknown and unexplored on our own planet. Exploring these frontiers, whether upward into space or downward into the sea, extends human presence into the unknown. Reisman's dual experiences highlight the resilience required to explore these frontiers and the technological ingenuity necessary to survive and conduct meaningful scientific research in environments that are inherently hostile to human life. Garrett Reisman's dual roles as an astronaut and aquanaut provide a compelling narrative on the adaptability of humans in extreme conditions. The technological innovations that facilitate these explorations and the ongoing quest to understand more about our planet and beyond. NASA's interest in ocean exploration. But why is NASA exploring missions in the ocean? The agency does so as a means to prepare for the rigors of space. The ocean's extreme conditions provide a unique setting to simulate space-like environments, making it an invaluable training ground for astronauts. One of the key facilities used by NASA for this purpose is the Aquarius Reef Base, located off the coast of Florida. This underwater laboratory sits about 19 meters below the surface and is used extensively for the NASA Extreme Environment Mission Operations Program. Aquarius allows astronauts to live and work underwater for up to three weeks at a time, simulating the isolation and confinement they would experience in space. The rationale behind using such an environment for training is based on the similarity between deep sea and outer space conditions. Both are inhospitable, remote, and require living in a confined habitat with limited access to resources. The underwater setting helps astronauts practice skills such as conducting scientific research using specialized equipment and performing extravehicular activities, commonly known as spacewalks. In these missions, astronauts are trained on tasks that are critical to space travel, such as operating robotics, managing emergencies, and working effectively as a team under pressure. The experience also helps NASA study human behavior and performance, providing valuable data on how isolation and extreme environments affect cognitive and physical capabilities. Moreover, the ocean depths are utilized by NASA for human training and also for testing and developing technology. The agency has deployed prototypes of space exploration vehicles in the ocean to test their durability and functionality in extreme conditions. One such example is the use of the Orpheus submersible, a vehicle designed to withstand the immense pressures of the Hadal zone, which extends from about 6,000 meters to the deepest parts of the ocean. These tests are crucial for ensuring that the technology developed can operate reliably on missions to other planets, especially in places like Europa, Jupiter's moon, which is believed to have an underwater ocean beneath its icy crust. This crossover between oceanic and space exploration highlights the innovative approaches NASA employs to prepare for future missions. By understanding and conquering the depths of our oceans, NASA is advancing our capabilities for space exploration and also enhancing our knowledge of Earth's own unexplored frontiers. Terrifying Discoveries So what are some of these discoveries made? The ocean also holds other mysteries that sometimes surface in eerie and unusual forms. Among these are natural phenomena and man-made installations that contribute to the ocean's aura of mystery. One of the most striking examples is the Serpent Skeleton Art Installation near the mouth of the Loire River in France. 
This massive structure, designed by Huang Yongping, stretches nearly 425 feet in length, resembling the mythical sea serpents that have haunted mariners' legends for centuries. From a distance, especially when parts of it are submerged due to tides, it appears as a real creature, invoking a sense of awe and fear. This installation plays on our fears of the unknown that lurk beneath the waves. Aside from artistic installations, the ocean itself hosts naturally occurring phenomena that are no less startling. For instance, the discovery of the Baltic Sea Anomaly, a 60-meter diameter circular rock-like formation found on the seafloor, has puzzled experts and enthusiasts alike. Some speculate that it might be a Stone Age artifact or an ancient monument, while others suggest it could be a geological formation. Despite various theories, its true nature remains a mystery, fueling ongoing debate and fascination. Further adding to the ocean's collection of mysteries are the various unusual creatures that dwell in its depths. The discovery of creatures like the giant squid, once believed to be merely a mariner's tale, has confirmed that the ocean hosts life forms of immense size and bizarre features. These squids can reach lengths of up to 43 feet and have eyes as large as dinner plates, capable of detecting faint bioluminescence from other deep-sea organisms. Another chilling discovery relates to the Salish Sea human foot discoveries. Over the past few decades, detached human feet have been washing up on the shores of the Salish Sea in British Columbia, Canada. This macabre phenomenon has sparked numerous theories, from foul play to natural disasters. Investigations suggest these feet separated from decomposing bodies naturally, carried ashore by their buoyant sneakers. While a logical explanation exists, the recurring nature of these findings continues to disturb and fascinate the public. Additionally, the deep-sea hydrothermal vents, often called black smokers, provide a view into what might be described as an alien world. These vents spew superheated water rich in minerals, supporting unique ecosystems that thrive in complete darkness. The organisms around these vents, such as tube worms, clams, and heat-tolerant microbes, are of particular interest to scientists for their ability to live in conditions that replicate environments on distant celestial bodies like Europa, a moon of Jupiter. Life in extreme conditions. It's not just man-made discoveries that leave us terrified of the ocean's depths. The depths of Earth's oceans are also home to some of the most extreme environments on the planet, and the creatures that inhabit these depths have evolved remarkable adaptations to survive. These adaptations provide insights into the resilience of life and also inform scientists about what they might expect to find in the oceans of other worlds. One such adaptation is bioluminescence, where organisms generate their own light through chemical reactions within their bodies. Your predators confused and its attention is drawn to this cloud of sparkles while you are jetting away. This ability is for illumination and serves as a means of communication and predation in the perpetual darkness of the deep sea. Creatures like the anglerfish use a light-emitting lure protruding from their foreheads to attract prey. Another adaptation is the development of high-pressure resistant proteins, which prevent cellular collapse under extreme pressure. Certain microbes and animals, such as those found around hydrothermal vents, possess enzymes that withstand high pressures and extreme temperatures, allowing them to thrive where hot, mineral-rich fluids gush from the Earth's crust. Furthermore, many deep-sea creatures have slow metabolic rates, which is an adaptation to the scarcity of food resources. This adaptation allows them to conserve energy over long periods, making the most of rare feeding opportunities. For instance, the giant squid, with its enormous size, can afford to be an infrequent feeder, relying on occasional large catches to sustain itself. These remarkable adaptations have huge implications for astrobiology. Scientists consider these extreme conditions on Earth as analogs for environments on other space bodies, such as Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Europa is believed to have a vast ocean beneath its icy crust, which, like the deep oceans on Earth, is shrouded in darkness and subjected to immense pressures. The discovery of life forms thriving around hydrothermal vents on Earth has led to the hypothesis that similar vents could exist on Europa's ocean floor, potentially supporting life. These vents could provide the heat and nutrients necessary to sustain life, just as they do in Earth's oceans. NASA's interest in these organisms and their extreme environments extends to their potential for survival in extraterrestrial oceans.
Understanding how life adapts to Earth's extreme conditions helps scientists predict the types of organisms that might exist in outer space and guides the development of exploration technologies and missions. So the study of life in Earth's extreme oceanic environments expands our understanding of biology and aids in the search for life beyond our planet. By studying how life adapts and thrives in the deep sea, we gain valuable insights into the possibilities of life in similar extreme conditions elsewhere in the universe. The Hunt for Extraterrestrial Life The mysterious depths of Earth's oceans serve as a compelling analog for the conditions we might find on distant moons like Europa, one of Jupiter's largest satellites. By studying the extreme adaptations of deep-sea creatures, scientists gather clues about the types of life forms that might thrive in extraterrestrial oceans. Europa is believed to have a huge ocean beneath its icy surface, similar in many ways to the deep-sea environments on Earth. This ocean is shielded from the sun, completely dark, and subjected to intense pressures and cold temperatures, conditions not unlike those in Earth's Hadal zone. The organisms that inhabit such harsh environments on Earth have evolved unique adaptations that could theoretically be mirrored by life forms on Europa. For instance, many deep sea creatures on Earth utilize chemosynthesis rather than photosynthesis. Chemosynthesis allows organisms to convert chemical energy from minerals expelled from the Earth's crust into organic material. This process is common around hydrothermal vents in the ocean's depths, where no sunlight penetrates. Similarly, Europa's icy shell might also conceal hydrothermal vents, which could provide the energy source necessary for life. Furthermore, the resilience of terrestrial deep-sea microbes to extreme pressure and cold offers a model for potential life on Europa. These microbes have cell structures and enzymes adapted to prevent destruction under the crushing pressure and freezing conditions similar to what would be expected on Europa. Scientists posit that if life exists on Europa, it would likely have similar adaptations to withstand its harsh environment. Additionally, the discovery of saline lakes beneath Antarctica's ice sheets on Earth suggests that salty, subglacial lakes might also exist on Europa. Salinity is a crucial factor in the habitability of water environments because it influences the freezing point of water and the types of biochemical processes that can occur. Life on Europa, if it exists, might have adapted to high salt concentrations, just as some extremophiles have on Earth. NASA's planned missions to Europa, such as the upcoming Europa Clipper mission, aim to explore these possibilities further. Instruments on board will look for signs of subsurface oceans, measure the thickness of the ice shell, detect the composition of the surface and subsurface layers, and evaluate the moon's potential for supporting life. The data gathered from Earth's own deep-sea research will be crucial in interpreting these findings. Thus, the deep-sea environments of our planet provide a vital blueprint for understanding extraterrestrial habitats. The extreme life forms thriving in Earth's oceans under conditions once thought to be uninhabitable expand our knowledge of biology and bolster the prospects of discovering life beyond Earth. The Mysterious Europa so why does Europa hold such significance for scientists? Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons, holds a special place in the quest to find extraterrestrial life within our solar system. Scientists believe that beneath its icy surface lies a huge ocean that could potentially harbor life. This ocean, possibly containing twice the water of Earth's oceans, is shielded from the harsh space environment by a thick layer of ice estimated to be 15 to 25 kilometers deep. The intrigue surrounding Europa stems from its similarities to Earth's own deep sea environments. Like the dark, pressure-intense ecosystems near Earth's hydrothermal vents, Europa's subsurface ocean may also be warmed by geological activity, potentially creating vents on the ocean floor. These vents could provide the energy necessary to support life, as they do in Earth's oceans, where organisms rely on chemosynthesis. NASA's upcoming mission, the Europa Clipper, is set to launch in the 2020s, with the objective of closely examining Europa's ice shell and underlying ocean. The spacecraft will perform a detailed reconnaissance of Europa's surface, employing a suite of scientific instruments designed to measure the thickness of the ice shell, assess the salinity and depth of the ocean beneath, and detect signs of recent or ongoing geological activity. 
One of the critical instruments aboard the Europa Clipper is the ice-penetrating radar, which will help scientists understand the structure of the ice and identify underlying water bodies. Another important tool is the thermal imaging equipment, which will look for temperature anomalies that might indicate the presence of vents or plumes ejecting water from beneath the ice surface into space, suggesting possible areas where the ice shell is thinner and potentially more habitable. The mission also aims to analyze the surface composition of Europa for signs of organic compounds, which are the building blocks of life. Detecting organics on the surface could imply that similar materials exist in the ocean below, transported upward by plumes or tectonic activity. The significance of exploring Europa lies in the possibility of discovering life and also in understanding how life can exist in extreme environments. Lessons learned from Europa could apply to other ice-covered moons and distant exoplanets, expanding our understanding of habitability in the universe. Europa presents an exciting opportunity to advance our search for life beyond Earth. By comparing the conditions of Europa's hidden ocean with those of Earth's deep seas, scientists hope to uncover the secrets of this icy moon and broader insights into the conditions under which life can thrive in the universe. Implications of Underwater and Space Exploration the exploration of Earth's deep oceans and outer space may seem like distinct ventures, but they share common challenges and benefits that closely link them. Both environments are extreme, requiring specialized technology and methods for safe and effective exploration. Lessons from underwater exploration significantly inform and enhance our approaches to space missions. Underwater habitats and vehicles, such as NASA's Aquarius and the Orpheus Submersible, serve as test beds for technologies that could be used in space. These environments provide a practical setting for simulating space-like conditions due to their isolation, harshness, and the need for autonomous operations. For instance, the Orpheus Submersible, designed to navigate and map the crushing depths of Earth's oceans, embodies technology that could be adapted for exploring extraterrestrial oceans, like those believed to exist under the ice crust of Jupiter's moon Europa. The challenges of deep sea exploration, extreme pressure, cold, and absence of light are similar to those encountered in space. The technology developed to withstand these conditions on Earth is invaluable for missions aiming to explore the cold, vacuum-like conditions of space. For example, materials and engineering solutions capable of resisting high pressures and corrosive environments in the ocean are directly applicable to spacecraft and instruments designed to withstand the harsh environments of space. Moreover, the operational challenges of conducting scientific research and missions in remote, inaccessible areas of the ocean mirror those facing in space missions. Both require high degrees of automation and remote control, advanced communication systems, and robust support mechanisms to ensure mission success. The data handling, real-time decision-making, and adaptive problem-solving techniques developed for deep-sea missions enhance our capabilities for long-duration space missions. Biologically, studying organisms that thrive in the extreme conditions of Earth's deep oceans helps scientists understand potential life forms in similar extraterrestrial environments. These studies broaden our knowledge of biology and inform astrobiology, the study of life's potential in the universe. By understanding how life adapts to Earth's extreme environments, we can better speculate about, detect, and study possible life forms on other planets. Furthermore, both underwater and space explorations have significant implications for international cooperation and technological innovation. These explorations drive the development of new technologies, which can have broader applications beyond their initial purpose. For instance, satellite technologies developed for space exploration have revolutionized communication, weather forecasting, and even disaster management on Earth. Sunken Mysteries, Underwater Cities, and Lost Civilizations Underwater archaeology has unearthed some of the most captivating and mysterious discoveries that challenge our understanding of ancient human civilizations. Sites like the ancient city of Pavlopitri, the sunken ruins off the coast of Yonaguni in Japan, and the mythical city of Atlantis provide interesting insights into past cultures and their relationships with marine environments. Pavlopetri, located off the coast of southern Laconia in Greece, is one of the oldest submerged lost cities, dating back to about 2800 BC. This city is unique because it gives us a virtually intact urban layout, including streets, buildings, and tombs. The preservation of Pavlopetri offers unprecedented insights into the daily lives of its inhabitants, showing a community that thrived on maritime trade and had developed sophisticated urban infrastructure surprisingly early in human history. 
Further east, off the coast of Yonaguni in Japan, divers discovered an underwater formation that some believe to be the remains of an ancient man-made structure. Known as the Yonaguni Monument, this site features terraced edges and trench-like features that some archaeologists argue could not have been formed naturally. While the debate continues, the possibility of it being a man-made structure could dramatically alter our understanding of prehistoric human capabilities and cultural reach in the region. Then there is the legendary Atlantis, often described as an advanced civilization that supposedly sank into the sea in a single day and night of misfortune. While many consider Atlantis a myth, described first by Plato to illustrate philosophical points, the story has prompted countless expeditions searching for archaeological evidence. Whether fact or fiction, the idea of Atlantis has fueled interest in underwater archaeology and the concept that many historical truths may still lie undiscovered beneath the oceans. These underwater discoveries are significant for their historical and archaeological value and their ability to captivate the public imagination. They remind us that much of human history interacts with the sea, and many stories of past civilizations are yet to be uncovered. The technologies developed for underwater exploration, similar to those used in space exploration, are uncovering new findings that continue to challenge and expand our understanding of ancient human history. Monsters of the Deep the deep ocean is also home to some of the most bizarre and fearsome creatures on Earth. Species like the goblin shark, vampire squid, and the colossal squid capture our imagination and also provide vital insights into survival in extreme environments. These deep-sea dwellers have adapted in extraordinary ways to thrive in the cold, dark, high-pressure world beneath the ocean's surface. The goblin shark is a rare and often misunderstood species, known for its distinctive, protruding jaw and nail-like teeth. This shark can project its jaw at high speed to snatch prey, a necessary adaptation in the sparse deep-sea environment where food is not always readily available. Its pink skin, which appears almost translucent, helps it camouflage in the deep, dimly lit waters where it lives. The vampire squid, with a name as chilling as its appearance, inhabits oxygen-minimal depths unreachable by most other sea creatures. It has the largest eyes, relative to its size, of any animal in the world, enabling it to detect faint traces of light in the darkness. This squid uses bioluminescence to confuse predators and lure prey, ejecting a cloud of light-producing mucus as a defense mechanism when threatened. Perhaps the most formidable of all is the colossal squid, often cited as a real-life sea monster. It dwells in the deep, cold waters of the Southern Ocean and can grow to lengths of up to 12, 14 meters. The colossal squid's limbs are equipped with hooks and suckers, some of which have sharp, swiveling hooks to catch and hold on to large prey, including large fish and possibly even whales. Its massive size and strength make it one of the top predators in its environment. The barrel eye fish, also known as the spook fish, offers another extraordinary example of adaptation to deep sea life. This fish is most notable for its transparent, fluid-filled head and barrel-shaped tubular eyes, which are directed upwards to detect the faint silhouettes of prey above. This unique eye structure allows the barrel eye to capitalize on the scarce light available in its deep, dark environment. Additionally, its transparent head protects its sensitive vision from stinging tentacles of siphonophores, a type of dangerous jellyfish-like creature that the barrel eye may encounter while hunting. This adaptation facilitates enhanced vision in near total darkness and also provides a defense mechanism against potential predators, showing the intricate balance of survival strategies in the ocean depths. These creatures are fascinating biological wonders. They exemplify life's ability to adapt to the harshest conditions. Their existence in such extreme settings on Earth provides a model for scientists searching for life on other planets. Understanding how life can persist in the high pressure, low light and cold temperatures of the deep sea opens possibilities for life in similar extraterrestrial environments, such as under the ice-covered oceans of moons like Europa. Each adaptation these deep-sea creatures have developed, whether it's the goblin shark's protruding jaw, the vampire squid's light-producing capabilities, or the colossal squid's formidable size and strength, reveals a unique solution to environmental challenges. Thanks for exploring with us on Beyond Discovery. If you enjoyed these revelations, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen. It's unbelievable.